Hello there! In this video we're going to talk about Vietnam. Vietnam is a Southeast Asian country on the South China Sea known for its beaches, rivers, Buddhist pagodas and bustling cities. First of all, a little bit about history. The northern part of Vietnam was for centuries occupied by Imperial China. Then the country was colonized by the French in the middle of 19th century. Following the Japanese occupation in the 1940s, the Vietnamese fought French rule in the First Indochina War, eventually expelling the French in 1954. Then came the Vietnam War between the two politically divided North Vietnam and South Vietnam. Conflict was intensified by heavy intervention by the United States on the side of South Vietnam and USSR on the side of North Vietnam from 1965 to 1973. The war ended with a North Vietnamese victory in 1975 and the country was then unified under a communist government but remained impoverished and politically isolated. In 1986 the government initiated a series of economic and political reforms which began Vietnam's path towards integration into the world economy. With an estimated 94.6 million people as of 2016, it is the world's 14th most populous country. The capital city of Vietnam is Hanoi, the country's second largest city by population, 7.7 million people. Hanoi enjoys a rapidly developing real estate market. The economic structure underwent important shifts, with tourism, finance and banking now playing an increasingly important role. Ho Chi Minh City, formerly Saigon, is the largest city in Vietnam with a population of 8.4 million people. The city's population is expected to grow to 13.9 million by 2025. The city has a hot tropical climate all year round. It has a lot of French colonial landmarks and Vietnamese war history museums. Lots of international corporations like Intel, Toshiba, Panasonic and Fujifilm have all opened up their production facilities here. Some say the city might be the next Singapore. Da Nang Da Nang is a coastal city in central Vietnam known for its sandy beaches and history as a French colonial port. Population is 1.3 million. Na Chang Na Chang is a coastal resort city known for its beaches, diving sites and offshore islands. Its main beach is a long curving stretch along Tra Phu Street backed by promenade hotels and seafood restaurants. Plenty of places to eat, drink and have a Vietnamese massage. But contrary to Thailand, there's no sex industry in Vietnam. Na Chang has developed into a popular destination for international tourists. Da Lat is a city in southern Vietnam's central highlands. It's centered around a lake and golf courses and surrounded by hills, pine forests, lakes and waterfalls. The city was developed as a resort by the French at the beginning of the 20th century and many reminders of its colonial heritage still remain. It even has its own Eiffel Tower. How cool is that? Known as the city of internal spring for its distinctive temperate climate. The communist system led the country into a deep crisis in the middle of 1980s and from the 1990s the country began to liberalize the economy which allowed to achieve significant economic growth and raise the standards of living for the population. In 2016, Vietnam was the second largest producer and exporter of coffee, second only to Brazil and that despite the fact that the total area of Vietnam is almost 30 times smaller with 1.3 million tons exported in 2012, a value of 1.4 billion dollars. By the way, coffee trees are not the indigenous culture of this area and were brought here by the French in 1855. Vietnam is the largest exporter of dragon fruit. Ever heard of this one? Another name is Pitahaya. You can see endless cactus plantations with red fruits in many places around Vietnam. Vietnam is the leading exporter of cashew nuts and black pepper. Agriculture still plays an important role and accounts for 21% of the GDP and employs 52% of the population. However, manufacturing has already overtaken agriculture and accounts for 40% of GDP and this includes production of electric cables, cell phones and computer parts as well as clothing and footwear. Although Vietnam is a relative newcomer to the oil industry, it is currently the third largest oil producer in Southeast Asia. Like its northern neighbor, China. Vietnam continues to use five-year economic plans that got started back in the USSR. According to a 2005 forecast by Goldman Sachs, 
the Vietnamese economy will become the world's 21st largest by 2025. Average salary today is just $150, but hey, back in the year 2000, it was $300 per year. The crime level is extremely low, at a rate of France and Finland. In large cities, you can see some petty crime as pickpocketing and snatching handbags and motorcycles. Therefore, you just gotta watch your stuff like anywhere else in the world. Tourism is developing at a staggering pace. In the year 2000, the country was visited by 4.7 million foreign tourists, and in 2017, almost 13 million. Most tourists come from China, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, the United States, and Russia. Mune, by the way, might be the best place for kite surfing in Asia. Fukok is gaining popularity as a secluded tropical island with pristine beaches. In the north of Vietnam, you gotta visit Halong Bay, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a popular tourist destination. In southern Vietnam, a cup of coffee is often accompanied by a cup of cold tea. Typically, the coffee is prepared in single servings in stainless steel coffee filters known as fin. The Vietnamese coffee is rich, flavorful, sweet and perfect on a cool day. The coffee is slowly dripping into the glass and mixing with the condensed milk, making it almost a meditation practice. Vietnam is also famous for Kopi Luwak, or civet coffee. It's the kind of coffee that includes part digested coffee cherries eaten and defecated by Asian palm civet. At the same time, per capita consumption of coffee in Vietnam is really low. About 95% of coffee is exported. Vietnam holds the second place in terms of rice consumptions per capita. A typical Vietnamese eats 169 kilograms of rice per year. No wonder they have so many rice varieties. Soup pho is one of the most popular Vietnamese dishes. This is a soup with rice noodles, most often with beef, although sometimes it's served with chicken and seafood. Soup pho is served in almost every cafe and restaurant. The Vietnamese eat it with chopsticks, mainly for breakfast. Vietnamese start cooking soup before dawn, so that by 5 or 6 in the morning they will feed the people hurrying to work. A large choice of seafood, coffee shops in general. Here you can try some exotic food like turtle meat, scorpion, ostrich. Eat the heart of a snake and drink the blood of a cobra. Although many Vietnamese have already learned to treat dogs as pets and not as food, some Vietnamese still eat dogs and cats. Vietnamese are quite friendly people. They sometimes look more gloomy than Thai people, but when you communicate with them, they start smiling. In Vietnam, there are many Buddhist temples, and there is a misconception that most of the Vietnamese are Buddhists, but in reality, 80% of the country's population are atheists and followers of local animistic cults. Animism is the belief in the reincarnation of all nature, in the existence of souls and spirits. So Buddhists make up only 9% of the population and Catholics about 7%. Vietnamese seem like a very athletic nation. In parks you can often see them working out, doing gymnastics on the street, it's a typical picture. In Vietnam it's difficult to buy clothes of a large size. The Vietnamese are very tiny people. A guy who's 1 meter 75 centimeters is considered very tall and girls of such size practically do not exist. The sizes of medium and large in stores are extremely rare. Many Vietnamese walk around the city wearing masks on their faces. You might think that this is protection against dust, though the Vietnamese themselves say that this way they protect the face from the sun's rays. White skin is considered the standard of beauty in Vietnam. Dark skin is associated with heavy physical work in the fields and low social status. The most common name in Vietnam is Nguyen. This name is now held by about 40% of the population in Vietnam. All school kids wear a uniform. In the junior classes, it's a mandatory element of clothing. They wear a white and blue uniform in high school. In many schools, children start studying at around 7 in the morning. Young people are eager to study English. Some are given the task at school to interview foreigners walking around the city. In Vietnam, motorbikes are extremely popular. They're way more popular than cars. Traffic might seem absolutely meaningless and ruthless and chaotic and unsystematic to you at first, but when you join in as a driver, some rules start to make sense. The traffic system has been organized in such a way that, that street lights are not so numerous. And somehow all this chaos is working. But don't think that pedestrian crossings in Vietnam are for pedestrians. 
they, just like anything else in Vietnam, is for motorbikes. At first, for tourists it seems impossible to cross a multi-lane road. A pedestrian crossing for bikes is just a picture on asphalt. The thing is, you have to go confidently and slowly. Motorcyclists are very maneuverable and they will find a way to go around you. The main thing is to be predictable. So every time crossing the road, you feel like you've achieved something. The motorbike became an important part of the culture. The Vietnamese managed to transport large loads of goods on them, take their children to kindergarten. I've seen four or five people traveling on a single motorbike. In Vietnam, only the domestic driving license are valid. International ones are not accepted. So in some cases, you'll have to give bribes to the traffic police. Domestic flights are quite affordable. For example, a one-way ticket from Nha Chang to Ho Chi Minh for two people can be around $40. One of the most memorable symbols of Vietnam is the merchants in the streets and markets in cone-shaped straw hats. Historically, such hats protected people from the sun, coconuts falling from the trees, and snakes. Driving in Vietnam is slow and monotonous. It's gonna take you three and a half hours to drive just 200 kilometers. Take the plane instead if possible. Vietnam is developing at a flabbergasting pace. In all major cities, there's a construction boom. Investments are coming from all over the world. Vietnam now has to balance between communism, capitalism, and Eastern values. What an interesting mix. And what do you think of Vietnam?